Hi, Days fans. It's Friday, March 12th, and we brought some guest stars. This is Panda in my hand, and JB has Scarlett. Wave to Molly <laughs> Burnett. <laughs> One of our fans, Chad, mentioned that he sees the cats in the background and that he would like us to introduce them. So here they are. This is my kitty cat, Scarlett, and this is JB's cat, Panda. Look at Panda closely. Fluff ball. Panda is a little cross-eyed. Oh, so, gosh. um. It's okay, honey. We still love you. So, uh, JB got this rag doll, this gorgeous rag doll, for free. Zero free. Because, because, but doesn't he look fine? You can barely tell. I know it's confusing. <laughs> you don't know which eye to look at. I get Stop it all it. the time. Honey, he can hear you. Okay. All right. I'm with the show. Okay. So, <laughs> I think we should put the kids. All right. Bye, bye, no, kitties. If they want to get down, I don't think they can. <coughs> Excuse oh, me. Oh no. Oh, you gotta go with her. All right. Whatever. So. <clears throat> I just want to start off with Victor. What a way to step up and give some godfatherly advice to you go and be a father to that girl and you know I'm going to welcome her in this house with a whole new appreciation. That was awesome. What I thought was awesome how Carly said, I have standards. I married you and I didn't sleep with you. Oh, Ouch. yes. Psst, like, way to turn the when he night, said, Carly. He, he called her a whore for sleeping with everyone. She's like, yeah, I slept with everyone but you. <laughs> that was awesome. Remind me of that one. And the, for me, the quote of the day was, Carly said to uh, Vivian, uh, don't you have an orphanage to burn down <laughs> yeah, or something? That was good too. Mm -hmm. I liked it when, um, when now this is me being kind of um, weird for you. you. I'm a little weird, but I liked it when uh, <clears throat> Vivian said, is that clear? And she's like, yeah, crystal. Because I like it when these actors say their own names. Like, Hope is always having to say Hope. But that's not her real name. But Crystal, that is her real name. Yes, I'm strange. Okay, moving on. Yeah, I'm fascinating. <laughs> okay, um, what was I thinking that was relevant to real <laughs> stuff? Oh, you know, uh, Victor did not freak out when he found out. Well, he did freak out when he found out that um, Daniel was Melanie's. Father, but he didn't go. Oh my God! I gotta call Philip and oh, tell him yeah, you gotta yeah. break this wedding up. Oh no. my God! And you know he would have been all. He wouldn't be going down to the docks trying to pick up a hooker like he wasn't running to Carly um, <laughs> or whatever he was doing down there. He's not in the drug business anymore, so he would have been on the freaking iPhone to uh, Philip. I don't think he knows. I think doesn't, doesn't know. know. I don't think he. Yeah, I think it, oh. I, I think Daniel's mom did a Carly on them. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, okay, so Amy D., we are on the same wavelength. I swear to God, I was doing the dishes or something earlier today, and I was thinking, like, what's going on with that drug business that uh, EJ had? When's that shoe going to drop? And sure enough, Amy D. writes in, uh, did we forget about that storyline? What's going on? And I'm telling you, when Rafe does all his digging, that's going to come out. That EJ is... A, a dealer, drug lord. Drug lord. Yeah. Not just a dealer. A lord. Yeah, he's not a dealer, honey. I know. Ari's a dealer. He doesn't touch the stuff. Like Victor. Yeah. So he offered so, her a job. Right in front yeah. of Brady. That's a masculine so, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody else wrote in. You say yes to him and no to me. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. And that's why you get screwed around at the coffee shop, Ari, when he was, oh, ask me to marry you again. Yeah, he... It was, that was cute. It, it was, was very adorable. Cute. It, was adorable. it was downright adorable. I have to say that I don't know if it was Libby or somebody wrote in and said, um, is this EJ's way of getting revenge? Because he's going to get um, Ari all chummy with him. And then everybody, like if he keeps going on about, if Rafe keeps going on about how bad EJ is, nobody's going to believe him. Like Ari will be on... EJ side. Oh, Sammy's she's a on. pawn. I mean, he might yeah. do her a couple of times just to curiosity's sake. <laughs> but she's a pawn, big time. He wants Sammy in Sammy's knickers. Mm -hmm. That's the only girl for him. Is there such a thing? Yes. Only girl for somebody who's single? You're the only girl for me. Yeah, but you're not single. No. You, you're what they call stuck. <laughs> You don't got any options right now. So EJ, he continues to work it and get, try and get, oh, 
Try and get close to Sammy. Oh, so what were you and Rafe talking about? Is everything okay? Oh, oh I like it. Like, are... haven't we been through enough that you can be completely honest with me? You shouldn't keep things from me. Damn, you are bad to the bone, EJ. Nicole. Damn, they, okay, so. How's she going to get out of prison? The whole, the, the, um, um, the new guy that's coming to town, the name completely left my head right now. S.T. something, Stanley, something. What the hell is the name of the person that's coming? The the major actor that was on Guiding Light or whatever? I have no idea. Well, anyhow, when he comes, I guess he's supposed to be the governor. And he's going to pardon Nicole because he's blackmailed in some way. And I don't know oh, anymore cool. because I don't read spoilers. But that's how much I've garnered from <laughs> what you all have told me. Nicole is insane, and I love her relationship advice to Chloe. Oh, I know. And like, Chloe's she's got such a great track record to be giving out this kind of information I and know. guidance. I have to say, when I get relationship advice from other women, which doesn't really happen because... That's one area where I feel like I really locked in good, you know. <laughs> I don't need to be asking all that kind of stuff. But I sure don't call my friends whose love lives are a wreck the ones that are off in jail. Cause <laughs> I hate sensitive guys. They're always in your business. That was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, like the last sensitive guy she was with was, what, Eric? Oh, I guess Brady was pretty sensitive. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Nicole. Th okay, so they're breeding, like... Prisons are breeding criminals is what they are. I mean, she's just going to come out of there worse than she was. So, God help you all when she's out. I like when Sammy was uh, all jealous of the Oh, agent. yeah. She's hot. And she didn't lie to you. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, I didn't notice. I like it when girls call it the girl's hot. There's something about that. Gee, it's like two nights in a row you're going down that path. What man. path? You know, the girl on girl path. So? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on <laughs> to our more conservative fan base here. Um, what do you think that um, Anna left in the cottage? You know, she was so careful to get those shoes, which didn't turn out to be a big problem because it looked like EJ stripped the whole place. Like, there weren't even rugs or mm. carpeting or couches or anything when, when the Wraith got there. So couldn't he have grabbed whatever crap she left, too? Yeah, it did look empty. I don't mm -hmm. know. But but what did she end up leaving? I don't know, but she screwed up. And Nicole, she is... Okay, so this is what a lot of people think, is that Nicole's going to place the voice and then... She's going to get immunity and return. That's what I think is going to happen. She's going to pull a Lucas. She's going to help find a criminal. Remember Lucas got mm -hmm. out of jail early? Yes, he did. Get the crap get beaten the, out yeah, of him. I, Exactly. So, I don't know. I don't know what the end game is going to be with Sammy, who she's going to wind up with, but... Um, you think they got a bust up, Rafe? And Sammy? Well, God, give it a break, Sammy. He's forgiven you. Oh, my God. I know. I hate when... Ugh. Is there any chance I forgive you. Now drop it. No, I'm not going to drop it. Yeah, I know you don't really... For Do you not, not believe me? me. Yeah. Man, if I screwed up and JV decides to forget it, I just say my sign of the cross or whatever and move on. I, I don't sit there. Are you sure? You sure you want to forgive me? You sure you don't mean it? No, that's stupid. That's right, but that's Sammy. But also... I don't know what the hell was I going to say. I'm losing my memory. What I the don't know. hell was I just going to say about Sammy and the... Fr I don't know. Myasthenia gravis, I learned a little bit more about that recently. Um, Libby gave me some information. I guess that um, the symptoms that Maggie had, in, or uh, Suzanne Rogers had in real life, we're different than how it's being portrayed now, so she is not having a relapse. This is just a story written for her character, so that's good news. Yeah, I never thought she was having a relapse in real life. And when I was going through the mail today, I got a um, flyer for a conference about myasthenia gravis. Wow, and I wondered if bizarre. I should go to it to get some background story for Dave's talk. Yeah, I don't think you need to go to a conference. Uh, have you ever heard of Wikipedia? That'll probably no, but be. there's not too many times that my job as a speech pathologist and my job as a blogger mesh worlds. And this is one of those times. No, that's correct, yeah. All right, so so we, should we go to the previews? Yeah, we should. We talked about the cottage thing. We talked about Nicole. Oh, she is totally going to play, so they keep on bringing they that up. They need to hypnotize her. Hypnotize. 
Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's a, it's a little hokey, but it might happen. It might happen. It could totally happen, honey. They haven't done that in a while, but you know what they need for that? A doctor? A shrink, and we are missing a shrink on days right now until until Dr. J.B. Jonas. Well, what about <laughs> Chloe's shrink, who she's not going to? Oh, that's the other thing. Do you guys think that Maggie really went to the neurologist because she insisted on walking down there herself? And then she came back, and she was kind of evasive with Daniel. That'd make two people lying about going to the doctor. Yeah, and I don't think she would lie to Melanie. Yeah. I like that look Rafe gives EJ when they're oh, yeah. in the house. Is like, 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 I'm on to you. Oh, I know nice. you're full of shit. I know you're pulling the wool over my girlfriend's eyes. But I am going to take you down. And you're trying to get into my sister's. Yeah. Don't mess with my sister either. Yeah. Remember what he said to Brady? It's like, you hurt my sister, I'm going to kill you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we better wrap it up. I think we went way over ten minutes. All right, the couple that watches stays together. Stays together.